Welcome to the shortest intro ever. I don't even know how to describe snaking a ball screen with words, so we're just gonna get right into the clips and watch it. First things first, snaking the screen only works when your defender goes over the screen. And the idea here is essentially that we're using the screen so well that we can get that defender caught on our back and keep her behind us. So first we got a really good screen and she uses it well, running her defender into it. And that allows her to keep the defender behind her. And what makes it truly snaking the screen is taking it back the other way like this. So the defense really has no hope of recovering. So she comes off that screen tight, takes it back the other way. It's almost like curling the ball screen. And then that post defender is caught between guarding both the ball and the screener. And it's a great way to get into that mid range shot or get inside the paint because when the defense is stuck behind you, there's almost nothing they can do. And technically for me, snaking the screen really means that you're curling that screen and coming off the opposite direction. But anytime you can get the defense caught on your back or stuck behind you, can really take them out of the picture and allow you to dictate, whether that's to create space for your own shot or to draw attention from the defense to set up somebody else on your team. Like here, for example, she snakes that screen, driving it all the way to the middle, drawing all that defense, and then sets up the screener for the open three. As a guard, it's definitely a great tool to have in your bag. And one thing I love about snaking the screen is that you can do it patiently. When you use contact to keep that defender on your back or on your hip, there's not much she can do about it without picking up a foul. Watching Sabrina on this play, first she does a great job absolutely slamming that defender on the screen. Then, instead of just running away, she actually goes into the defender, initiating contact to keep her stuck behind her. And once this help defender drops back to guard the roller, Sabrina with the ball has all the time she wants to read the floor, be creative, look the defense off, throw fakes. And even though she doesn't make this shot, I would say it's a pretty good look and she still had other options. So you can look to completely snake the screen to escape the defense and create space for yourself and just learn all those different ways that you could take advantage of that positioning. And then of course, anytime you can initiate and use contact to your advantage is great. That can really allow you to be in the driver's seat and dictate what's going on instead of the defense doing that for you. And a huge key with this is keeping that defender on your back allows you to be patient and read the floor because you got that defender in a position where she can't really defend. And it puts that post player, that second defender, in a position where she has to guard two. And then sometimes all it takes is a look off or a simple pass fake or shot fake to get somebody on your team an easy look. And if you find videos like this helpful, you know what to do. Drop a comment, like, subscribe, send it to someone who needs to see it. You know, all that good stuff.